my YouTube darlings. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the Ninth Element Base Camp and I am getting ready to do my fourth actual build on the Honda Element. So let's take a look inside the garage and see what I'll be using for this build. I'm so glad that you guys made it back today. It's a beautiful sunny day somewhere in Oregon. Let's do this. So this is my 2003 Honda Element. I've owned it since 2008. I've traveled out of it the whole time I've been, I've owned it. And I've had a couple of versions of builds and uh, not really. I've taken a lot of things out of my house and put them in the car and used them for camping. And I realize that's, that's not exactly the safest thing. So I've been collecting wood and I've been storing it in my garage and I'm going to show you my very scary garage, so don't judge. I stayed in my garage at the mid part of January. Let's take a look at some of the wood that I've collected here. Um, and let me know in the comments below. I think that this is mold on the wood. I'm not sure if I can sand that out completely and then varnish it and paint it, it'll be safe. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that. But I do like this uh, thin type of plywood for superficial applications like um, the fronts of cabinets and whatnot. Okay. Um, I also saved this box right here that my new table came in because I will be using it to trace out objects like furniture like so I'll use it as a template um, from inside the camper and then I will put those templates on the wood and hopefully cut them out <laughs> that'll work we'll see this will be a little bit of a you know showing you the garage while it's in a bit of state of chaos oh my god do you have a garage where everything comes to die as well huh yeah Anyways, this is day two of the sort in the garage. And this pile, actually these three boxes right here have grown exponentially. Um, I'm definitely gonna need to empty out the ninth element to get that in there so that I can take it off to donation. There's my workbench. Didn't make any progress with that yesterday nor did I make any progress with this table, but I did clean up this area and I did clean up these shelves. So I have a painting shelf, I have a barbecue shelf, I have gifted tool shelf, which I will go over those tools with you, and I have uh, more tools down there that were gifted to me for other projects and just a general cleanup in the laundry area to brighten it up and freshen it up. Uh, yeah. Thing to clear out this whole area here so that I can use this table to work off of. the tiny camper van and look at what I've done in the past and let me talk about with you what I want to change. One of the features that I like about the Honda Element is what they call the suicide doors. I just love how uh, wide open they are and I'm able to use them in many ways that create shade and shelter from the elements. This is looking inside the Honda Element. So this is underneath the bed. Yes, that is my toilet. Toilet. And um, just showing you how I have quite a bit of storage underneath here right now. And um, this is the little dresser that I got from Ikea. I actually really love it. It provides, it provides quite a bit of storage. 
you know, for clothing and whatnot. Uh, now, what I want to address in this next build is this lack of room between the mattress and the ceiling. I'm just going to take my jacket off here and crawl in bed and just show you how tight it is. worm to get in here so as you can see there's not a lot of room or like headspace I'm comfortable but it would be nice to be able to possibly have like a little bit of a couch mode in here or something I don't know if that's gonna work with the gear that I love to travel with the whole idea of my little camper van is to not live in it, it's to live out of it. So having all the right accoutrements for camping so that I can play outside, be warm or cool, whatever the season is, and just enjoy myself. Okay, I got my jacket back on. It's about 42 degrees right now. Um, it feels warmer in the sunshine, so that's nice. So previously in my build, um, and pretty much the whole time I've been camping and car camping, I have um, I've used a cooler. I do have a 12 volt fridge. I don't have the right battery power right now to operate it. So I'm just kind of waiting on that and doing some research and whatnot to see if I can get more battery power to run a fridge and some other electronic things that I need to be continued. But um, I've used the back of my Honda Element. It's kind of like a chuck box. If you don't know what a chuck box is, Google it and look at some other versions of them on YouTube. But chuck box is essentially all of your cooking things in one area <coughs> or in a box or a chuck wagon. Maybe I should call this the ninth element chuck wagon since I like to cook. I kind of like that idea. So one of the things I want to do to utilize the space back here is I'd like to build a drawer that comes out and it has my stove in it and maybe some spices and my cooking utensils and then as part of it and then gear on the other part of it and then I'll be able to access it from the gate back here um, as well as inside the element. On this side here is where I have previously stored so this has been my chuck box. This is where I've been storing all of my kitchen gear. It's empty right now. Um, I'm actually emptying the element out because I have to take some measurements and so Let's get this emptied out and look and see what it looks like empty. Let's go around to the other side here and just look at the space that I have underneath the bed so that you can see what I'm working with here. Okay. Talk about no carpentry skills. Like I didn't even cut this leg long enough to be level for the bed. So this is looking underneath the bed and um, this spot is all empty right here. It's where I usually put my Manchester propane tank and my little red campfire and water. So there's actually a lot of storage. And <clears throat> again, this piece of wood right here, let me see if I can keep my sheet up right there. It is a couple of inches tall but I don't really need to have it that tall so I could gain a few inches if I just get rid of that piece altogether and lower it down so that's what I'm looking at Can you be a good pupper? No barking. No barking, pupper. My neighbor's dog. He just loves to bark at me. Gosh, I'm trying to clear the garage out and here I'm putting more crap in it.
shelf from inside of this cabinet. You wonder how I stay warm? Lots of blankets. But I'm Canadian, so I don't get cold in the States very easily. Now for the mattress. Pretty easy. Slides right out. Super easy. Uh, okay. Uh. All right. Into the garage. Let me show you what it looks like now. Here it is uh, with the fridge and that little shelf that was right there and the mattress. These are the window coverings that I made earlier. Or actually, I made them last the year. I made them last year and they're made out of, this is an emergency blanket that I had. So it's kind of like Reflectix. And then on this side, this is artist foam board that you get at the dollar store. I think these blinds cost me literally like five or four dollars to make including the blanket um, so this next piece I'm gonna pull out it has been bungeed into the car so has all the other pieces of furniture but I'm sure that bungeeing your furniture in your car is not safe thank goodness I've never rolled my car this would be like so bad if I did okay let's get this out I've got to undo the Oh, I'm going to undo some bungee cords up front. Hang on. Okay, I've got it on strap from the car, so hopefully I can get it out. Let's see. So this is, oh, let's see here. How am I going to do this? Oh, this is the futon frame. Oh, kind of awkward. That I cut down. So I cut it short here to fit inside the car and I I cut these legs by hand with a handsaw and I screwed these screws in mostly by hand and then when I was, I forget where I was, I was somewhere camping and showing people um, my build and they noticed that the screws were sticking out so they went and got their cordless drill and they drilled them in for me so they were no longer sticking out so um, I have enjoyed this piece of furniture because it has the slats in it which gives my mattress the ability to breathe which is really important but as you can see the frame it creates a lot of height that I that I, I, I lose so I'm gonna have to change something about this but I'm gonna add this to my lumber pile this last piece of furniture was a filing cabinet in my office, <laughs> which I just feel so clever about this one. I have really enjoyed this part of the build, this build, no build. <laughs> so it used to stand like this in my um, office and it had all my office papers in it. We're so digital now that we don't need to keep a lot of papers. Um, but I'll be sad to see this go and, and not be in the new build. So we'll see if I'm gonna put it in the new build or not. I don't know, we'll see. Now you know why my garage gets so messy, because I throw shit in it all the time. Well, it's time to pack up my leather blocks <laughs> and keep them for outdoor purposes, <laughs> which, at least here on the Ninth Element Channel, you know you can use them for indoor purposes. But uh, 
I recommend these uh, Campo leveling blocks. I'll leave a link in the description below. Those are going now. And now the last piece is my little dresser. As I said, it was bungeed in. And um, it kept it in here pretty fairly safe, but uh, I know it's probably not super safe. So let's get this little tiny dresser out of here and into the garage as well. It's super little. Oh, it's heavy. I think I've got some stuff in it. Oh, okay. I'm getting the dresser out of here. And here it is all empty once again. Everything. Every single thing is out of here. Here is the back of it. It is 35 square feet. Not a lot. Now, let's go weigh it. See what it weighs empty. No wonder my garage looks like this. Because I'm always doing this to myself. Ugh, okay. There is all of this stuff brought inside from the camper along with everything else. But let's go weigh the ninth element and see how much she weighs empty. I'm going to try something that I'm not sure if other people have tried this before, but it's always very important. When you're doing a build, you want to think about how much weight you're actually adding to the car. So I'm going to go and see if the dump station will let me weigh my car there. Otherwise, there are some scales out on the highways that I can roll over and just see what the, the empty weight is. So let's see if this works. As I'm going to make this trip, that I'm on an empty tank of gas. So I'm also, I'm gonna go and get a tank of gas first so that I know with a full tank of gas and everything out of my Honda Element. How much it weighs. See that sign out there, but 378 for regular. <laughs> Are you Canadian? I am so, sir. Awesome. I live down here now, though. You? Yeah, I'm Why a snowbird. Would you do that? I, well, look at the weather here. Where no. I'm from? No, oh, where no. I'm from? 18 feet of snow right now. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, no, I traded my Sorrells and my rain jacket uh -huh. for or my Sorrells and a puff jacket like this for gum boots and a rain jacket. <laughs> Have a great day. You Thank too. you. Uh -huh. 4171 uh, for a 11 and a half gallons of gas. Yeah, that's why I'm not traveling a whole lot right now and I'm working on the base camp. Okay, to be continued. Off to get the element weighed now. I know this is not normal, but I'm coming to the dump to see if they will weigh my ninth element empty for me. Let's see how this works out for you. Yes. My car is empty and I just wanted to find out what the weight of it is. Can you tell me that? 1.84 tons. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So I can just like root loop around and head out? See those yellow cones? Yeah. You can go through those and then just come out the other way. Great. Thank you. Have a good day. I can't believe that that was a huge success. So if you're building out a camper van or a school bus or whatever, think about the weight because that, oh my gosh, makes a huge difference on your gas mileage. So 1.84 tons is what I currently weigh. And then I'll try and be sneaky and go back through there again and see if they'll weigh it for me again with my camper build in it. Okay, to be continued.